Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Now, as we get older, our metabolism naturally slows down. But no worries, though, because a member of my fitness village and friend and personal trainer, Shanae Norvell, is back down to the circle hey, to give hey, us hey. some tips and take me through some exercises for all of us to kind of, you know, for, yes. for the 35 and plus club. Yes. But for all of us to kind of get a, a grasp on how to work out right. and still take care of our bodies at the same time. Correct. Preserve our bodies. Shanae Norvell, yay! Yes, thank you, thank you. Always glad to be here. You're right on point. Yes. That over 35, 40, I'm 43, with a five year old, mm -hmm. we slow Bad. down. We, thank you, thank this you. This is the new 23. 23. And it's like Peep all it. these years of beating our joints, whether it's through workouts, walking, exercise, just life, yeah. we do have to move in a different pace yes. as we progress. So, how can women or and men over 35 uh, increase their metabolism naturally? Through working naturally, out? through working out. Adding cardio, first okay. thing in the morning is always my mm -hmm. recommendation. You decrease the chance of someone calling a meeting mm -hmm. or interrupting you. Okay. You get your metabolism jump started, so that means your body's rate of burning fat mm -hmm. and using it as energy efficiently. And then it gets your mindset for the day. Yes. So that's a good reason to get going early in the morning, but yes. your metabolism starts with the workouts and water consumption. Water consumption. So you should have 16 ounces of water on your nightstand yes. first thing in the morning so you can jumpstart metabolism as well. Absolutely, so let's start the start the exercises. Yes. What are we doing today? So the first one is knee circles. Okay. It seems so basic, but Very old our school. joints are what become creaky and mm -hmm. feel a little rickety. Knee circles lubricate the knee joints. It's yes. low synovial fluid going through. So it's small, it may look like you're just moving your hips, but you're not, you're doing circles and then you go the opposite direction. I have a lot of my clients, as you know, do this mm -hmm. at the start of the session. And this it's just very your old knees. School. It's very mm -hmm. old school, but it's effective. Some things you keep, you know, make new friends, keep the old one, uh -huh. and still the others go. <laughs> so we keep those knee circles in there okay. as well. So the next one would be standing front toe raises okay. here. And then you're gonna reach down in between. Correct. Oh, so boy. you touch, touch, and reach, and you feel that in your hamstring when you reach down, yes. correct? So another thing is squats. So many people are like, I want my glutes to be lifted. Right. Let's grab our chairs. Okay. This is what you can do at home in mm -hmm. our range to make sure you're doing them properly is uh -huh. sit down for the squat and then stand all the way up. So sit squats. Sitting down, correct. And this keeps you in good form, again, protecting our knees in a proactive way right. versus just doing the air yeah, squat. You don't feel it over, you don't feel your knees hurting. Right. Now, do you squeeze down. when you come up? Still squeeze on the way up. And if you want to get jazzy with it, you could add a little lift to get your calves involved. Okay. Yep. Inhaling and coming up. Now, so how many reps would a person do of this? I'm big on let's go hard. Go for four rounds of 25. Forget oh, the wow. 12 to 15. Because this is a modified exercise already, mm -hmm. let's kick it up to four sets of 25. Now, what about people with knee joint pain? Like, what, what yes. kind of tips could you give them for so the knee? So, the knee joints, what I really say is let's not do pounding. You see a lot of people doing pop squats. Yes. We don't need that as much over 35 unless you're still doing explosive sports or athletic performance. That gets you moving in that direction. When it's day-to-day -day functionality, mm -hmm. just avoid jumping and plyometrics. So you can do modifications of a okay. pop squat or you can do the knee lifts, but avoid anything that's blasting your joint. Okay, so what do we have next? So your next move, let's move these back. We're actually gonna go down on the mat, mm -hmm. and this is an ab combination because a lot of my clients, again, in our 30s and 40s, we don't necessarily wanna lay all the way down on the back. You can do a knee lift, knee lift, and a Russian twist combination. Correct. So do that knee lift up and up, and then twist and twist, and you feel oh, that in your stretch. low back? Yeah. Correct, correct. I've heard and of ass. Right, right, right. A little release. <laughs> And that will be another thing too, Selena, is that lower back stretch. Extend the leg out, lift, and turn and look over your shoulder, yep. Oh yeah. So lower back, a lot of times even our mattresses as we talked about. Yes, honey, can my cause mattress that pain is and a to the mess. side. So what can we do to preserve energy? Energy. At this age. Is so big. A lot of times in our 20s, we're taught, oh, you can sleep when you die. No, okay. you need to sleep. We have early days, so I definitely advise six to eight hours. Yes. Energy is also interacting with people that can be toxic. Ooh, so from a wellness message. perspective, 
I say look at your circle and make sure it is positive because that energy can drain you. Wow. Make sure you have time to refuel internally on your own. So that's a lot with my clients. I'm like, how much time are you getting just to sit still and adding meditation in where you're just quiet, light a candle, focus on that candle, or just have soft music. So that really gets your energy as well. And so negativity can impede the progress oh. of your working out, no Absolutely. matter how many times you're working yep. out and how well you're eating. Yep, because it stresses you. And when you stress, your body goes into that fight or flight mm -hmm. mode, and you can more readily store fat in a stress mode, which can come from mental stress, physical stress and right. lack of sleep. Okay, Sinead, tell yes. us about the Super Sweat Clinic. Super Sweat, Yay. so that is my program. I was so excited. I wanted to combine something that lets you feel good, yes. accomplished, and gives you those exercises that are similar to what we show today that mm -hmm. are low impact. So I do it live in Atlanta every Saturday, but I also have an online challenge that I'm adding that will be free where people can follow along and do workouts, meals, and have that motivation. So my mm. push for everyone is to do four days of a workout where you are sweating profusely yes. or close to it and give yourself that recovery time with a healthy meal and positive energy as well. Okay, well let's yes. stand up and get on out of here with the people. Come on. One last up. move. Yes. One last move. One last move is a stretch up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, and slowly stretch down. This lets your body relax. You want to hang, continue to hang there. Feel that in your hamstrings, rest your shoulders down in your head, and slowly roll back up, inhaling, reaching up to the sky. Thank you so much, Sinead, for joining us today. Thanks for all the valuable My information pleasure. as yes. well. If you want more tips from Sinead and to secure your spot on one of her upcoming Super Sweat sessions, be sure to follow her on Instagram at Sinead Norvell.